happy place as the Outlaw Cup gets underway. First time watching Rise in some time. He is half the man he used to be, but twice the man he was. The best shape of his active career. He's been back on the mixed martial arts circuit. Big Lou Nixon is possibly the most dangerous he has ever been right now. This is a very different, a focused, meaner, cleaner, Big Lou Nixon than I think we have ever seen. No matter what he has lost, in weight, what he's lost in, in vices, he has maintained in intensity and aggression. Are you ready to start this match, referee? No. <laughs> and the Outlaw Cup is underway. Bring the thunder in a ring full of plunder. Two men who know each other very well, former Rise Hardcore Champions. Bit of wrestling in the Outlaw Cup. 
Well, that was a surprise. Nicky Deathmatch can catch his catch can. Uh, Lou Nixon showing him what for as well. These two have danced before. But both have had very different lockdown experiences over the last 18 months. Finger lock now. Give me some light juice. Oh, we nearly had a whole wrestling match. And here we go, the Outlaw Cup and his death match rules. As Danny O'Doherty said, it is all coming down to a pinfall or a submission. Light tube across the head. The first light tube is broken. The second, the world is healing. We've got light tubes at the wrestling. And Mickey looking to finish this off quickly. Short, big Lou Nixon can train for counters to choke holds and arm bars. How do you train to protect yourself from a light tube? Michael Caden fighting, literally fighting, out of Middlesbrough and into the hearts of the Rise faithful. A stalwart of the hardcore division here at Rise. Never met a fight he didn't like. Oh, God! That light tube driven into the skull of Big Lou Nixon. Blood running down the face of Lou Nixon. Seems to have woken Big Lou up. Now remember, whoever wins this, they have to go into the next round to face either Big Joe or Danny Darko. So the trick is to come out of this as... Oh, look at that, a badge of honour across the chest of Big Lou Nixon. to come out of this as, as safely as you can, but I don't know that you can do that in the Outlaw Cup. A lot of unique apparatus being provided for this match, including that table made of barbed wire and, you guessed it, more light tubes. We'd like to thank Booker's Cash and Carry for supplying this stuff on bulk for us. And thanks for not asking what we needed it for. Oh! That light tube being driven into the head of Lou Nixon. And now Lou's head meeting the barbed wire on that table as well. Big Joe. Danny Darko, hoping these two just both kill each other. It'll make the rest of the Outlaw Cup much easier. Oh, what's Caden think? Oh, Caden was looking for a leg drop, maybe. No! clenching his hands just trying to get some movement back and oh they're having to peel Michael Caden off of that barbed wire table literally peel him off Lou Nixon wanting to take full advantage on all those cuts on the back those cuts on the back of Caden, and he's still kicked out. And Caden's back up. There is, there is no force of nature quite like Michael Caden. Lou Nixon's finding that out. He's remembering that. 
after 18 months away. Forbidden Doors! And how is Caden kicking out? There's Caden punching the canvas, trying to will himself back up. Defiant slaps to Lou Nixon! Oh, and Lou, with that clutch! That Kohita clutch! A vice-like grip! On to Caden! And Caden's fading! He's out! training that has kept him mentally sane and physically connected for the last 18 months. Took Caden to the ground and got the knockout. And lest we forget, Mickey Deathmatch did not tap out. He passed out, albeit temporarily, but it was enough to punch Lou Nixon's ticket to the Outlaw Cup Final. No shame for Michael Caden, who put in a hell of a performance. Big Lou Nixon, he's hitting different. And that could be the difference maker in the finals of the Outlaw Cup. Michael! 